Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and of our Lord Jesus Christ, be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us praise the Father for giving us His Son, dying on the cross in order to save us. We are not worthy of this price that Jesus paid, but out of love, because of love, Jesus died on the cross for us. To prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us acknowledge our sins, the reason for the death of Christ on the cross, and ask God's pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God Glory in the, in the highest, highest, and on and earth, earth peace, peace to, to people, people of goodwill. goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless, bless you, you, we adore you, we glorify you, you we give, give you thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, King O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take, you take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, of the world. Receive, receive our prayer. prayer. You, you are seated, seated at the right hand of the Father. Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. one. You, you alone are the Lord. Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your only begotten Son 
should undergo the cross to save the human race. Grant, we pray, that we who have known his mystery on earth may merit the grace of his redemption in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Book of Numbers. With their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people Saraf serpents, which beat the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a saraf and mount it on a pole. And if anyone have been bitten, look at it, they will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Hearken, my people, to my teaching. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter mysteries from of old. Do not forget the works of the Lord. While he slew them, they sought him and inquired after God again, remembering that God was their rock and the Most High God, their Redeemer. Do not forget the works of the Lord. But they flattered him with their mouths and lied to him with their tongues, though their hearts were not steadfast toward him, nor were they faithful to his covenant. Do not forget the works of the Lord. But he, being merciful, forgave their sin and destroyed them not, Often he turned back his anger, and let none of his wrath be roused. Do not forget the works of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness. And found human in appearance, he humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, Every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Christ Jesus is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Have you been vaccinated? Not only because, not only for COVID-19, but for other vaccinations. You know, it's unfortunate that some mothers are afraid to have their newborn babies uh, vaccinated because of the scandal that erupted several years ago. But we need vaccines. We need vaccination. 